Stress, anxiety, fear, and panic, words many people use daily to describe their lives. So here to help us remove those feelings is the founder of the Center for Stress and Anxiety, Lucinda Bassett. Welcome. Thanks, nice to be here. You're also an author and you write about life's ups and downs in your new book right here, Truth Be Told. So what do you hope people will learn from your story? Well, really, um, I wrote this book for anyone who's been through challenge, change, and loss and difficult times, and that'd be just about everybody in the last five years. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a very powerful message in this book about the importance of being resilient and resourceful when you're going through difficult times. But our natural instinct as a human species is to um, just go inside of ourselves and retreat, and especially men, uh, males in the baby boomer generation who might be worried about do they have enough money to take care of themselves and their family as they approach retirement. And as you know, this has been a difficult five years in our economy mm -hmm. and globally, and it's caused a lot of stress and anxiety. In fact, um, suicide is the fourth leading cause of death in our country right now, and a lot of it is believed to be related directly to the economy. Now, you experienced suicide, you, as you just mentioned, with your husband, and even recently, singer yes. Mindy McCready, she committed suicide. So I think a lot of people always want to know is why. Like, why do they do that? Well, the reason why is because he was mentally ill. And also, um, as with a lot of people who are mentally ill, he was on the wrong medication. More than ever, men especially need to be open to reaching out, and men are just uncomfortable with doing that. And so they tend to drink or sleep right. or take their lives. And they, they feel so helpless. They feel like they're letting people down. They feel so, like they're letting themselves down and their family down. And so you need to really be aware of the warning signs. And when you feel there are warning signs for yourself, get help reach out, don't do it alone, don't go it alone. Yeah, and then on a national level, we've seen recent, scare, you know, the Boston bombing mar at the Marathon, yes. Sandy Hook Elementary. How is a society, when we see these things happening in our world today, how do we cope with that? How do we move forward? You know, the truth is someone who's mentally ill is going to be able to get their hands on a gun one way or another. Exactly. And so what we really need to do is treat the problem, which is the fact that they're mentally ill and they're unstable and they're afraid to get help or they're getting the improper help. But it makes us as a country feel unsafe and vulnerable, and we are. So what you can do is go within and, and you know, really help yourself and your family to feel more in control and more secure. And if you feel that you or a family member is struggling with mental illness, I would suggest you start with your family doctor, talk mm -hmm. about some of the symptoms which are isolation, isolation feelings of depression, um, when someone stops taking care of themselves and maintaining their, their appearance, um, when they start talking uh, in, in suicide language like, you know, I shouldn't be here, people would be better off without me, no one, no one cares about me anymore. If they talk about suicide, these are all red flags. Start with your family doctor mm -hmm. and let he or she recommend a psychiatrist that you, that you should talk with because it is preventable if they get the right help. Well, thank you so much, Lucinda. Some really great advice. And you can get her book. It's available in stores now.